This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God Written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh In today's episode we continue with Transfer of Training in Book 3 In Chapter 1 this is Section 5 What About Marriage? Hi David I was wondering about something I read in ACIM about special relationships and how the ego uses them as proof for guilt, separation and the death of God. I am married. Is the Course basically saying no one should get married? Your insights would be greatly appreciated. I have more questions I would like to ask, but I almost feel like they are pointless. To some degree, I think the above question is pointless as well, because it is like trying to understand that which is insane. The ego. Beloved one, the ego is synonymous with special relationship and is a belief held in the mind. ACIM is about exposing the error of belief in the context of what seems to be interpersonal relationships. Even though the ego made the distorted world of separation, the Holy Spirit uses what the ego made and reinterprets it. Thus, forgiveness is a reinterpretation of error. The real meaning of marriage is union. And this union is the marriage in spirit. Creation in and of God. What seems to be marriage in the worldly sense between two people is actually a backdrop for healing the mind. Relationships mirror all that is unconscious, all that has been denied from awareness, so that the ego can be exposed and released. This release is the awareness that the ego is not real and the experience that there is only love. As you continue your inner healing work with ACIM, the distinction between form and content will become clearer and clearer. Love is content. It is not form of any kind. And though all form is a projection of the ego, the Holy Spirit uses the symbols and images the ego made to guide the sleeping mind to awaken and be glad. The Holy Spirit uses time to teach that there is no time. And interpersonal relationships to lead to an experience of the only real relationship, Christ in God. Mystical experience transcends the personal, just as the whole transcends the sum of the parts. Hidden error is synonymous with unconscious belief. Healing does indeed dissolve the questions and in divine silence is everything known. Yet until the experience of healing dawns, it is helpful to question the ego's belief system. Questioning error and exposing error brings it to light, thus dissolving it forever.